Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we will be talking about the DS-160 form. Uh, so if you are going for a visa application, DS-160 form is the stepping stone of going to the application because it is a one of the foremost things you have to do before you actually go ahead and pay your service ID, your service fee, uh, your visa application, you have to complete your DS-160 form and this is a form which I personally had some issues in it because there are a lot of questions which are uh, not clear. So in this video, I'll be filling the form question by question and I will be uh, describing you each and every question. So if you are anyone who is currently filling the DS-160 form or who is having any issue in the DS-160 form, uh, so this video is for you because this is a very detailed video of the DS-160 form, each and every part and each and every question. Uh, so if you are interested, let us start. So this is basically the page of the DS-160 form and uh, the page name is cec.state.government and I will be putting the link in the description below. So this is basically the page uh, which you will be directed to and uh, let us start by filling the DS-160 form and uh, you have to select a location, let us select India Chennai and uh, okay let us fill this, this is PN56, uh, click on start an application because we are creating a new application here and click on I agree. After I agree, uh, you have to put in a security question here and uh, let us take any other security question uh, in what city or town was your first job. So let us state Chennai here. So uh, this is basically your application ID and you can use uh, this application ID for further booking the visa slots and uh, you do not have to complete this DS-160 uh, DS form uh, right now. Uh, you can save it and further complete it but always complete it before attending the visa interview uh, so you have to write a surname here uh, so let us write this only or use Juan Miguel here which the example is uh, full name in native alphabet um, does not apply and have you uh, used any other names um, no uh, do you have a teleco to present your name that is also no here and uh, okay let me yeah Marital status is single here, uh, date of birth, uh, anything here, I'm just taking an example. So I am uh, doing does not apply because I do not want to enter and waste time here. And then countries again India, this section is pretty easy, uh, click on next personal and uh, you will be direct, okay, this section is not completed. So uh, now you will be directed to this page. Uh, you have to tell your country of identity which is India. Uh, do you have or hold any other nationality other than the one indicated above? Uh, no. Uh, permanent resident of any other country? Here no. Uh, US social security number currently you do not have because you are in your native country so does not apply. US, US uh, taxpayer ID number does not apply and uh, then it is a national identification number. Uh, most of us uh, like I am from India so uh, tax uh, national identification number is not the Aadhaar card and not the PAN card because Aadhaar card is not uh, internationally recognized here. So you have to write it does not apply here and click on next travel. You will be directed to a travel page here purpose of trip uh, because uh, I am considering that uh, you are going for masters or under graduation. So um, you will be selecting a class of here academic or student uh, visa which is F visa and specify it as a student visa which is F1 visa. Again it may differ uh, like according to your needs or which visa you are applying to. I am just taking a generic example here and have you made any specific travel plans that will be no here and uh, person entity paying for a trip. If you are paying from your own uh, expenses uh, then it will be self and if your parents are paying then it has to be other person here. So click on other person. And you have to give your uh, like uh, for example you can give your parents info here and uh, then telephone number also. Uh, I'm taking uh, like email address does not apply because it does not make sense to write here. You can write uh, is, this a, uh, is the address of the party uh, paying for, uh, for the trip same as the home and mailing address. It is yes because uh, me and my parents stay in the same home. 
uh, intended date of arrival this is the most confusing thing because uh, let us take an example you are going for fall 21 and your program starts at uh, 23 august so uh, your uh, intended date of arrival you can put in either 30 31st july or 1st august it is up to you they are just asking for an estimate here so let us uh, write 1st of august and uh, 2021 and uh, i am assuming you are going for masters so length of stay will be two years here length of st uh, stay will be two years here and okay uh, street address i am just writing anything here let us take the state as florida uh, zip code if known enter the zip code click, uh, click on next you will be directed to the travel companions page are there any other persons traveling with you click on no if you're traveling alone uh, next uh, previous years travel you have to give uh, like if you have traveled to the us before and uh, uh, I personally have been that is why I will be uh, like clicking on yes here and they will be asking that uh, hey when uh, did you arrive length of stay but if you haven't uh, been to the US uh, ever ever been to the US so you have to click no here then have ever been issued a US visa yes or no uh, it should be on, on your passport um, then have you ever been refused these all will be no there is no point in uh, taking yes here and uh, next is address and phone so next they will be asking you about your address and phone so home street address let us this is basically your home street address uh, let us quickly fill it i'm just clicking on does not apply because uh, it will take time uh, you have to fill these all uh, country india mailing address is same primary phone number uh, let us give anything these all also uh, have you used any other phone numbers in the last five years if you have please state it here uh, because they will like cross check the records and if you have used previous phone number and you have not stated it here it might cause a problem so i uh, personally haven't so i'm clicking on no here email address is abc at the red gmail.com your email address here uh, have you used any other email address again state any other email address which you might have created or you have been using apart from your uh, main primary email address so uh, click on yes here and enter the email address i am clicking on no just to save time now this is most uh, like uh, do you have a social media presence so it is up to you if you want to show your social media presence or not um i personally showed instagram and youtube so that is the only two i showed on the social media platform it is up to you if you want to show it or not uh, but you have to select one here so <clears throat> let us select instagram here and uh, identify i'm just taking anything uh, do you wish to provide information about the presence on any other website that is uh, i selected no here so select no and uh, click on next passport so uh, now they will be asking you a uh, passport type uh, most of us will be having a regular passport type and then will be the passport travel uh, document number uh, this will be stated at the top of your passport main page and uh, enter this so let me enter anything here passport book number uh, every passport does not have a book number so uh, it is optional if your passport has a book number enter it else not so does not apply uh, where was the passport and travel document issued so let us uh, write any state here issuance date uh, check from a passport and enter it correctly here i am just taking an example uh, expiration date can be 4th of um, october 2022 and have you ever lost your passport or had stolen mine is no so no uh, next is us contact mm, so here uh, if you have a contact person in the united states you can uh, like show them that hey i have a contact in the us uh, it is up to you uh, i personally do not have a contact in the us so i gave my organization name organization name is basically the school which you will be attending and you have to give it here so uh, i selected does not know here and organization name is um, anything here like give any school name uh, such as uh, uc berkeley you can give here uh, a relation to, uh, to you is my um, school official and this is a point of contact so point of contact is basically mentioned on your specifically on your i20 uh, open your i20 and there will be two names uh, which is which will be specifically the point of contact you have to give their name here and uh, address and name address you can give the school address uh, anything here city also state is florida uh, zip code if known email, phone number and email address will also be mentioned on your i20 so this section uh, sorry 
this section has to be filled uh, using your i20 okay uh, organization name and relationship to you is yeah school official yeah okay yeah so this is basically how you fill uh, this section and uh, let me give uh, click click on next and family okay phone number has not been completed okay let write anything here click on next family yeah so you uh, you have to give your father's full name here given name date of birth um Is your father in the US? No, mother full name. Uh, date of birth, anything here? Is your mother in the US? Have you uh, immediate relatives not including parents in the US? If you have, uh, you can say yes. Uh, mine is not, so I selected no here. Uh, next is uh, work and education training here. So click on this. And okay, do you have any relatives? Has not been answered. Okay, no and uh, next is work and education so if you are currently working you can uh, select your primary occupation and uh, for example uh, i am currently working in the engineering field so i will be selecting engineering here and i will be giving my present employer name and street address so let us give anything here uh, if you are not currently uh, employed here uh, you can like uh, click on student here if you have been, uh, if you have not been employed here and they are basically basically asking for your current employment here and if you are like you absolutely do not have any job here so click on not employed uh, only click on these factors if you have a current primary job and student is student if you are in a third or fourth year in the college uh, i am currently employed so that is why i selected this one uh, again does not apply because no need of wasting time in these uh, start date anything here um, monthly income uh, if employed uh, like if you want to give your monthly income personally i gave it uh, it is up to you if you want to give it or not uh, describe your duties here and let us write any monthly income here so now now all of these questions were like mostly will be no here were you previously employed my i was not previously employed because uh, this was my first job have you attended any educational institution at a secondary level or above these are basically asking for your college details so i will be clicking yes here and uh, this is basically your name of institution so mine will be jesus ipo but i'm not using it here uh, give your college name state and province um course of study for example mine was btech uh, date of attendance from um anything here just we have to fill it uh, quickly here uh, next work education uh, let us go to the work in education here uh, if you know languages uh, you can uh, give the, uh, give uh, like here uh, personally i know french and i know uh, okay do you belong to a clan or tribe no uh, language name is hindi which is uh, my native language and these all will be like mostly no have you tried to any other countries no belong to a uh, social charitable organization no have you served the military no uh, do you have any specialized skills such as firearms explosive no uh, have you served in a uh, member in the like rebel group this is also no uh, next is security and background so uh, do you have a disease no uh, do you have a mental or physical disorder uh, that is likely to pose a threat that will uh, that will be no are you or have you been a drug, a drug abuser or addict no um next is security background again these questions will be arising here so these all parts as you see here uh, let me just zoom in so these all parts uh, these five parts these all will be mostly will be no here so let us quickly do here so i have to be arrested no violated no i'm just quickly doing no here and let us click on the next okay so these are a lot of questions <laughs> uh no 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 and no i have not been deported I, nobody should be deported uh have you ever withheld no 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 these all will be no this is part five this part five is finished now the last part of the ds160 comes additional point of contact information now 
uh, this is basically they cannot be your immediate relatives so uh, personally i gave my father's friend information and my friend information in this additional point of contact uh, they cannot be your relatives mind you and uh, not close family members also so that is why i gave my uh, father's friend contact here and personally my friend so which are not my immediate relatives so you have to give their names here so they will be asking you two additional point of contact sir so give surname street address anything i'm just filling for the sake of it here and uh, telephone number okay sorry email address okay let us just click does not apply because we not to fill it here mm. Uh, email address okay does not apply next is service <coughs> so service id this id is basically on your i20 and this is a very uh, big id and it is of the type it starts on basically from n and uh, you have to give your service id here so always uh, give the correct service id because these all documents will be matched and uh, additional information below uh, which school you are attending anything um, which school you are going to I write it here city state uh, we selected florida uh, postal code i do not know you can search and write the postal code so next is uh, okay postal code has not been completed okay let us give five one here okay yeah. so you do not have to put the photo here photo will be taken at the asc only and this is a review section so we have completed the ds160 form now we just have to review the information if you want to print it you can print it after reviewing the information you have to sign the ds160 form and then you have to submit it so as simple as that uh, like these all will be now showing that uh, uh, they will be first showing you personal address phone passport then travel then us contact then family work education basically all the sections which we have filled they will be showing us each one by one uh, carefully review them and uh, yeah if you want to make edit or uh, make some changes click on here edit personal information go to it and uh, change the information so as soon as you uh, do all of this and you review all of these uh, you will be asked to sign and you will be submitting the ds160 form you can print it out and you have to take it when your visa interview comes so yeah this is basically uh, how you fill your ds160 form ds160 form and um, yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so thank you so much for watching this video and if you like the video do give it a like and subscribe the channel uh, if the content is relevant or it is bringing value to you. Um, so this is it for the video and if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of my social media handles. I am super active on LinkedIn as well as Instagram so uh, don't hesitate to message me there and I will be very happy to help you. Uh, yeah, this video is not enough. We'll next video. Bye-bye. So you wanna be my enemy You should've known I'd never kiss the rain Ice runs in